So guys, what's the reason of herping? Herping is actually to find species of our Malaysia to keep record of what kind of species of reptiles or any any animals that you can find in Malaysia and you keep them in track. So that's the reason for herping. Uh, we here herping, we don't bring back any reptiles back to the house because we don't bring back wild caught animals and keep them in captive which is not right so we just take some good pictures of them and then we release them back to their habitat and at the same time you can find interesting uh, creatures that you can never see in your daily life another interesting thing is that we have so, so far we have found a lot of green crested lizards um, we have found some huntsman spiders uh, we have found some frogs and we also find some garden fences that cannot see colors but so far we haven't encountered any snakes yet and as, as i mentioned just now we're heading towards here to release the red ticks that we caught in people's house that day so um yeah stay tuned guys i will show you a clip of me releasing back the red tick in this jungle that i rescued from the people's house that day so stay tuned Let's continue our journey. Alright. So as you can see over here guys, I myself don't know what bug is this. <laughs> it's so new. You should ask the bug expert over there. Uh, Tom, yeah. what bug is this? This was the place to find the Noriati. No, Yati, over there? Yeah, normally they have so much water here, but all gone already. The frog that is mentioning above there is actually the flying frog, right? It's a flying frog, right? Ah. No Hayati. Why they name it as No Hayati? Because the founder of the frog no Hayati. is named as No Hayati. It's an assassin bug. Assassin bug, right? Mm. Yeah, uh, this guy is cool. They are carnivores, right? Mm. A top predator in the insect world. A cool looking bug, though. Quite painful, as far as it might. Wow. Apparently, I never tried before. But they, they, I don't see any jaws in them. No, they have the. Oh, okay, okay, right, okay. They have like a. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like a stinger. Like the pincer. Ah, uh, they can fall open like that. Oh. They no, the assassin bug. I see. I they see. They fold in between here. Uh huh. On the. That one they used to sting. Okay. Are you going there? No. Yeah. So. Let's see if we can find any Noriati flying frog and let's see if we can find any unique species of snake. So let's continue our journey. Okay guys, so we just found a bentoed gecko uh, It's currently biting my hand <laughs> So this gecko basically feeds on insects and they can actually easily break their tail It's such a cool species of bentoed You can see their eyelid over there Normally you can see the bentoed eyelid will have orange colorings And you can see the pupil over there You have that orange um, lineage in the middle of the eyes which makes them so unique Okay. Mm. Here, yeah. So this is a common species in uh, Malaysian forest, but not every single time you can find them. There's also something called as marble bentoed, and this one here has a different name. This is just a bentoed echo. Why the name is bentoed echo? Because their toe is bent. Yeah, it's in a bent position. Oh, gentle. Yeah. And geckos always have this uh, typical characteristic where once they bite until you let them go like this. They will never leave your hand. Oh, yeah. cool! That's something new. Sifu. <laughs> All right, guys. So, time to release this guy. So, guys, uh, we have stick insect over here. You can see this the stick insect. Yeah, the guy just only finished uh, shedding, I think, because I can see the skin beside. Uh... No, there's two. No, no, no. That's the shedding. Yeah, that's the shedding. Molting. Yeah, molting. <laughs> I keep following the reptile one. So that's the molting of uh, insects normally molt. They don't shed. Mm, so I sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So this is a stick insect. It looks exactly like a stick. That's their camouflaging defense. They feed on leaves, and they are harmless. 
they can grow twice the length but this one over here is a male um, females normally grow uh, bigger than the males they can grow almost twice three times the length and also we have something even more interesting we have the giant cricket can you see the size of this cricket can you see the size of this cricket holy cow the guy is jumping yeah this is a giant cricket so this one is also harmless they normally feed on you see leaves like this they feed on leaves and can they grow even more bigger no this that's the maximum size mm, they can grow as big as your thumb so this is another unique species of insects that i can find i can see two horns behind their butt i think that's that that's what indicates that it's a male i think this is a male cricket because normally males have these uh, black lines on top and then the two um, horn stuff at the butt so a very nice encounter so guys this is the whip scorpion so basically this scorpion is not similar to the scorpion that you see you can see they are they are pincer over there is totally different at the same time they have something called the whip why they name it whip scorpion is because of the whip over there that is, oh, this guy is trying to hide. So there's actually a defense mechanism where they actually spray acid towards the enemy. So yeah, the function. So this is a predator where they feed on other insects as well. So this is a very great encounter because it's not a common species that you can find in the jungle. It's one of the most uh, rare species that you can find. This guy is trying to hide. <laughs> I try to, oops. Right. Wow, this is Hagen's Pit Wiper, also one of the most uh, venomous pit wiper in Southeast Asia. You can see, also one rare encounter. Yeah, you can see the spot over there on their body. Right, you see the spot. So basically, Egan Speed Wipers Venom is quite bad guys. So they contain hemotoxin Venom. And also basically they feed on uh, mice. Yeah. The guy is going there. Let's get the video. <laughs> So basically they can uh, they feed on rodents and also they feed on birds. This guy is in a nice shape position, I think he's gonna strike anytime. So yeah, this is Hagen Speed Wiper. Also not so common species of pit wiper that you can find in uh, Malaysia. So good encounter. This guy was just resting over in this branch over here. You see this it's quite big, the size is quite big. And he's gonna strike me anytime he wants or oh. Right, I'm not gonna disturb him. Let him have his own sweet time. <laughs> Alright right, guys, uh, we just found some weird type of cockroach. This guy is shining like a star. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like fluorescent green with a metallic gold color on his back. I don't know what type of cockroach is this, but it's so unique where they actually, the defense form, they are just curling into a ball. Mm -hmm. Really unique. Mm, I can't really focus. Right. Mm, looks like some kind of gold ball. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice. Alright guys, so this is the red thing that we caught in people's house. So I'm gonna release this guy over here. No, this side, this side, this side, this side, not this side. Ah, 
Okay, releasing ceremony, done. Bye bye. Alright. Yeah, so you want some basic info about Integrator Python? They are one of the top predators in Southeast Asia. They feed on, you know, they feed on what? <laughs> mammals. Big, huge mammals. So, yeah, this is like their preferred habitat over here. So, yeah, that's all, guys.